Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex here, and I'm going to do a little, I guess, a uh, little video log. I'm basically in uh, Winter Park right now. Um, I'm here at Borders Bookstore. There it is, you can see that, going out of business. Um, for a while, or Orlando had like, like three to five Borders Bookstores. Um, they started closing them down, but the plan was to keep this one open um, for a while, but um, you can see now that they're, they're going to be closing this one down too, so there'll be no more Borders bookstores, um, I guess, forever. Um, they're actually selling everything out, and um, today, the this is the final week for it, and it's 50 to 70% off. Um, I just got this book. You know, I thought I'd, I'd throw a little uh, little money at Borders bookstore. Uh, I got this. It's called The Roman Armies, or The Roman Army from the Civil Wars 88 to 31 BC. And it talks about the the kind of armies that um, like Julius Caesar, like would have had. Um, I got that. Oh, hold on, let me open the window. It's getting kind of hot in here. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of no surprise that Borders wasn't doing so well. I'm surprised Barnes and Noble's still in business because you have um, online sites like uh, Amazon that sells books way cheaper than Borders and Barnes and Noble. In fact. The prices right now, they're about 50% off on all books, at least, and they're almost as cheap as Amazon, and that's with the 50% off thing, so that's why um, online sites like Amazon are doing really well, because people, they can get a bigger selection, and the books are way cheaper. Um, so I got this book, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out soon. Um, there's a store down the street, it's called um, Ancient Artifacts, I'm going to see if they have any um, like artifacts from the Hellenistic period. I'll pick something up there too, but um, I'm gonna talk about my little uh, trip to Ohio that I had like last month, I think, or two months ago. Um, I did not go to Kings Island, which is a, a theme park near uh, Cincinnati, but I did go to White Castle a lot of times. That's one of my favorite fast food places. And um, dang, hold on. But, uh, wait, one second. Yeah, went to White Castles. It's, it's a, it's this little fast food restaurant that specializes in serving, uh, sliders. Sliders are little mini burgers. Those are the ones that you saw in the movie, um, Harold and Kamar Goes to White Castle. Those are really good. Um, down south, we don't really have White Castle. We have, uh, Crystals. Crystals suck, in, in, in my opinion. Um, I don't like it. Like, I felt really ill when I went there. Like, after me and my friend watched um, Harold and Kumar Goes to White Castle, we wanted uh, crystals because that's the closest thing we had to it. Aside from the, the White Castle burgers you get from the grocery, but those, those don't really count because they're, they're frozen. But yeah, we went to uh, crystals and we got really sick. But yeah, so when I went to Ohio, I made sure I hit up uh, White Castles whenever I could. Um, it's 24 hours, I believe, or something like that. Or it's at least open till like 2 or 3 in the morning. Um... Yeah, I had a blast. I went there, like, so many times. Uh, I got a little souvenir. Oh, wait, wait, did I get anything? No. From White Castle, I wanted to get a, um, what do you call it? This, this candle. It looked like a box of fries, and it smelled like, like White Castle. <laughs> I was asking the, the cashier for it, and people were getting really disgusted by the way I was describing it. Um, but I did not get that. Um, there were some issues. Like, the only one store had it, only one restaurant had it. And when I checked the other restaurants, they did not have it, so I just gave up on it. But um, I did get a little like uh, glass that says White Castle on it, and um, I will show you that later. And I also went to Skyline Chili. I got a frisbee there. Skyline Chili, they they specialize in serving um, it's like noodles with a uh, chili and a lot of cheese on it. It's really good. Um, but those are places that. That we don't have down south. Well, there is a uh, a Skyline Chili in I think Clearwater or Tampa, but um, nothing in Orlando. And anyways, there's some people like staring at me right now. But uh, yeah, what what else did I do? I saw Fresh's Big Boy in o in Ohio, and that that's pretty sweet. I didn't go there because I never really liked Fresh's Big Boy, but I do like the little statue they put in front of Fresh's Big Boy. Um, I also went to Jungle Gyms. That's this little grocery. Um, when I was a kid, it was a little grocery, but when I went there, like, last month, it has grown big time. 
Um, they got like alcohol from around the world. Um, it was actually featured in Travel Channel. They had this little uh, bathroom here, um, over there, and it looks like a, like a small porto john. But when you open the door, it actually opens up to this really giant restroom in there. So it, it's kind of like a facade that you know that you think you're going into this crappy little um, porto john, but in reality, it's this giant restroom. It's an epic restroom, guys. But that's all I want to say is um, Borders Bookstore, um, it's sad to see it going out. I mean, nothing will ever compare to going to the bookstore and just browsing books and maybe buying the occasional book for 20 bucks. But seriously, Amazon is where it's at. But I, I will miss Borders Bookstore. And I wish these bookstores stayed in, stayed open so that I can you know continue to browse books like this, have, uh, have coffee or whatnot. But that's all I want to say. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.